that has enabled the alleged appropriation of indigenous land. On July 1st, thousands of West Papuan refugees in Papua New Guinea celebrated the 52nd Proclamation of Independence Day. Port Mosby Governor Paul Parkup, a long-time advocate of West Papua's independence movement, said in a video statement this week that he supported Jokowi's visit to Port Mosby. Parkup said it's an opportunity to discuss ways to improve the situation in West Papua. We are open to talk to you. We want to invite him in his regard to the But for many West Papua and refugees in Papua New Guinea, the visit is a blunt reminder of where Papua New Guinea stands in its foreign relations with Indonesia. Mangi Lufa Apo is among thousands of refugees who have grown up in Papua New Guinea after their parents fled West Papua, fearing suppression from Indonesian authorities. Lufa Apo says, Seeing Pacific Island nations foster ties with Indonesia is heartbreaking. He says Pacific Island nations should be emulating the regional solidarity that European countries recently displayed with Ukraine. Pacific countries are not doing that. This was all about some of the countries here are showing the support to Ukraine and you know, we have a genocide going on. And it's just at our doorstep. We're not Organized. Indonesia incorporated West Papua in 1962 after the Netherlands voluntarily withdrew from the territory. With a courtesy to fall on the International Maritime Organization's Climate Summit, it's unknown whether the talks will deliver an ambitious climate outcome. Whatever the conclusion, Pacific nations have made their presence felt as the motivated and pushed for global shipping to become fossil fuel free. But the negotiations have also put a spotlight on Pacific Islands pushing for full decarbonisation of shipping and the introduction of a carbon tax and the position of the Pacific Islands Forum at the IMO. Kelvin Anthony is in London and fired the story.